my channel crochet spills in today's video i will show you how to crochet this beautiful dwelly okay so this is also my work in progress and uh, this is the part one you can consider and then we will make the other parts also so we will start from this round so let's start this is round one we will begin round one with the magic circle this is the magic circle chain 2 to just begin work 16 double crochets in this round 1 2 so I will finish 16 double crochets 16 double crochets are completed now just pull it tightly work a single crochet in this first double crochet make chain 1 now we will do crabbing just insert the needles into the backwards pull up a loop pull it through 2 insert the needle from back side ok so this is how we are going to make our crabbing so I need to finish this row 2 as well ok so round 2 is also completed now we need to begin our row 3 row 3 would be started with a chain 2 and this chain 2 is not counted as a first uh, double crochet Now I will just turn over, go into this first double crochet, work a back post double crochet, yarn over, go into the same stitch and work a back post double crochet, insert the hook into the next stitch from back side, work a back post double crochet work another back post double crochet in the same stitch go into the next one back post double crochet do the same stitch and back post double crochet we need to work 32 back post double crochets in this round ok so this round is also finished and now I will just work rows round 6 by making chain 1 go back into this double crochet work a single crochet then then I will go into the next stitch again work a single crochet into the next work a single crochet so we will do crabbing in this round as well and then we will start working on the next round we need to work every stitch like this every edge needs to look like this so I will just finish this also ok so this edge is also done now we will start working on row 6 how to make row 6 chain 2 yarn over go into the first double crochet work a back post double crochet in the next work back post double crochet we need to work 32 back post double crochet for this round this is how we will work our back post double crochet and then make a slip stitch right here ok so 32 uh, back post double crochet are completed now this is looking like uh, it has converted to inside but it will be ok soon ok so let's begin our round 6 so we will make a chain 1 and it will not be counted as the first single crochet work a single crochet into this first stitch work another single crochet into the second stitch then make chain 2 skip 2 stitches then work a single crochet sorry we need to make 3 chains here one, two, and three. 
and then skip to single crochet single crochet chain 3 skip 2 single crochet single crochet chain 3 skip 2 single crochet single crochet single crochet chain 3 skip 2 one single crochet one single crochet in the next stitch one two three so this is how i just finish the round and as you can see it's already just proper okay so six rounds are completed now we need to begin round seven in round six what we have done with two single crochets chain three skip two then two single crochets chain three skip two so this is how i worked and now i need to begin round number seven make chain one just to begin the round one single crochet in this first single crochet make chain seven one two three four five six and seven work chain seven skip this chain two skip these two single crochets in the next place we need to work a single crochet chain one and turn make single crochet eight half double crochets one two three four five six seven eight half double crochets then work a single crochet turn it back here this was the first starting single crochet and here is the second single crochet just work the second single crochet this is the first pattern it is started from this round seven but it is attached in round six we'll do once more chain two this is my second group of two single crochets from round six i will make a single crochet here in this first stitch work a single crochet now make chain 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 now what we need to do we need to skip this chain 2 space these 2 single crochets into this next underneath these chain 2 I will just go into this center space work a single crochet make chain one and turn it back work a single crochet work eight half double one two three four five Seven, eight, single crochet. Turn in this right next to this first single crochet. I would make a single crochet, chain two, go into this next two single crochet group, go into this first one, work a single crochet. So this is how these petals will look. I will just make all of these and then make a slip stitch here. So I will just finish these petals and then I will show you how to make the next one. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 petals are finished. Now this is the last one. 
I worked this single crochet then we chain 3 into this last group of uh, 2 single crochets work this single crochet then make 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 chain 7 now we need to just find out this is the first petal here we have this last loop so I need to place it here into this stitch single crochet chain 1 turn it back single crochet 8 half double 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 work a single crochet 10 go in here work a single crochet so if you can see this is how my petal is going to look okay so make chain 3 1 2 3 and make a slip stitch into this first single crochet so this is how my round 7 would be completed here it is round 7 is done now okay so begin the next round by chaining 1 this was the chain 3 space from the previous round so we need to work 1, 2 and 3 single crochets here then make chain 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 ok so this was the second chain 3 space so I need to work 1, 2, 3 single crochets make 5 chains 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 go into the next chain 3 space And chain 3 space now you can stitch it work 1 2 and 3 single crochet so this is how I will just finish row round 8 okay so my last chain 5 and slip stitch into this first single crochet of these three single crochet so my round 8 is also finished okay so let's begin round 9 make slip stitch into this next stitch so we are here in the center single crochet so make chain 1 go into the center single crochet work a single crochet without making any chain so we'll just jump into the chain 5 space and work 7 double crochets here 1 2 3 4 5 7 then do not make any chain go into the central single crochet work a single crochet jump into the next chain 5 space work 7 double crochets 1 2 3 4 5 6 and okay so this is how i need to just finish round nine also and then we will work so on so i'll just finish this round okay so make a slip stitch into this first single crochet so round nine is also completed now i will just make a slip stitch here into this first the double crochet and we can also do one thing else that I will just yarn over go into this back post of this first double crochet and work a back post double crochet ok so now we need to just work 7 back post double crochet 1 into each it means 2 3 4 and 5 6 and 7 keep this single crochet 
chain 2 go into the next set of 7 double crochet do work back post double crochet 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 chain 2 and so on so this is how we will make this uh, round done and then our round 10 will also be completed we are this we are just here we are just working this round then we will make this one ok so I make 6 stitches into this first back post double crochet and my round is just completed now I will begin round 10 how to begin round 10? Make a 6 stitch into this second stitch. Here is third one. Make chain 1. Go into this first. And work a single crochet. Go into the next stitch. Work a single crochet. Go into this next stitch. Work a single crochet. Make chain 1. Go into this chain 2 space. Work a double crochet. Chain 1. Double crochet, chain 1, double crochet. Then make chain 1, skip 2 stitches into this third one, work a single crochet, and then next work a single crochet, and then next stitch again work a single crochet. Then make chain 1, go into this chain 2 space, work double crochet, chain 1, double crochet, chain 1. Then double crochet, chain 1, skip 2, and work single crochet, 1, 2, and 3, chain 1, into this, work double crochet, chain 1, double crochet, chain 1, double crochet. So, I'll work it on and on, until I just reach here and make a 6 stitch into this first single crochet okay so let's begin round 12 in round 12 i'll just make six stitch into this next stitch to make it in the central stitch make chain one go into this first we are into the same single crochet work a single crochet work chain three then just turn over go into the post of this first double crochet Work a double crochet one, two, three, and four. Work four double crochets, insert the hook into this first stitch. Make a six stitch here, chain four, one, two, three, and four. Yarn over, go into this central double crochet. Work a double crochet. Work second double crochet. Work third double crochet, make fourth double crochet, leave this loop, insert the hook into this first one, make six stitch here. Okay, then we chain four, one, two, three, and four, go into this last double crochet, work double crochet. Two, three, and four. Leave this loop. Insert the hook into this first one. Work a slip stitch. Work chain three. Go into the central single crochet and work a single crochet. So this is how it will look. Now we just need to again chain 3, go into this first stitch, first double crochet and work a front post popcorn, 
वन टू थ्री एट फोर एट चेन फोर एवन टू दी सेंट्रल स्टिच डू द सेम थिंग वन टू थ्री फोर फिफ स्टिच चेन फोर इन दिस लास्ट वन we need to do the same thing one two three and four keep this loop the third loop here work a fifth stitch chain three work a single crochet into this neutral stitch so this is how I will work in all these chain two spaces and uh, then we will start working on the round 13. So 12 rounds are completed now we are going to make round 13. To make round 13 make chain 1 go into this chain 3 space work a single crochet go into this uh, on the top of the single crochet work a single crochet go into this so we will start it from center ok so make chain 1 begin round 13 by making chain 1 go into this single crochet work a single crochet go into this chain 3 space and work a single crochet chain 3 go into this chain 3 space work a single crochet make chain 5 1 2 3 4 and 5 Go into the next space, work a single crochet, chain 3, go into the next space, work a single crochet, on the top of the single crochet, work a single crochet, in the next chain 3 space, work a single crochet, work chain 3, go into the next chain 3 space, work a single crochet, chain 5 work a single crochet chain 3 work a single crochet on the top of the single crochet work a single crochet in this chain 3 space work a single crochet chain 3 so this is how we will do the same till the end of my round and uh, then we will begin the next round ok so round 13 is totally finished and now I am going to begin round 14 how to begin round 14 is that we will start it by making chain 1 go into this central stitch and work a single crochet go into the next stitch work a single crochet go into this chain 3 space work 1 and 2 single crochets then into this chain 5 space I am going to work 9 double crochets this time ok the 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 9 double crochets then into this chain 3 space I will work 2 single crochets in these 3 stitches I will work 1 single crochet on the top of each stitch 1 2 and 3 in this next chain 3 space I am going to work 2 single crochets in this chain 5 space exactly I do the same I will work 9 double crochets 1 2 3 4 crochets then into this chain 2 chain 3 space I'd work 
two single crochets in the top of these three single crochets work one in each one two and three then in the next chain three space work two single crochets then jump into this chain five space and work nine double crochet so this is how i would like to finish the whole row and then i will make maybe it's just this stitch then i will make two single crochets here and then make a slip stitch into the central stitch so this is how my round will be completed okay so now we will uh, start working on round 15 in round 15 what we are going to do is we will make just chain 3 then yarn over twice go into the same central stitch pull up a loop pull it through 2 pull it through 2 and pull it through 2 then make chain 1 go into this post of the stitch pull up a loop pull it through one loop and collect one loop on the hook then again work from one loop and connect collect it on the hook four five and six we we'll collect six loops on the hook then we will go into the next stitch pull up a loop pull it through one loop so i have total seven loops on the hook pull it through two loops then pull it through two loops pull it through two loops yarn over pull it through two loops yarn over pull it through two loops and then pull it through two loops last time then turn go into this post and work one two three four five six six loops on the hook then go into the next stitch pull up a loop pull it through two then start working with pulling through two loops each time yarn over pull it through two yarn over pull it through two yarn over pull it through two now turn make chain two or maybe three go into the center of this petal go in and work a slip stitch here so this is how the pattern will be completed now make chain one go in here and work a back post double crochet chain one go into the next stitch work a back post double crochet chain one back post double crochet chain one post double crochet chain one back 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 post double crochet okay so this is how this pattern and the wood look so now i'll show you how to start the next pattern make chain one yarn over twice go into the central stitch pull up a loop pull it through two pull it through two leave the uh, leave two loops on the hook pull through uh, yarn over twice again pull it through two pull it through two and then pull it through all these three loops together chain one go on the post and collect loops on the hook three four five six now go into the next stitch pull up a loop pull through two 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 and pull through two then go into the second post and collect six loops five six then go into the next stitch pull up a loop pull it through two pull it through two pull it through two loops pull it through two loops pull it through two loops and pull it through two loops petal is just done 
now make chain 2 go into the center of the stitch make a slip stitch chain 1 work a back first double crochet in each of the 9 double crochet so this is how it will look and this is how I'm going to finish this round so I hope you can easily understand if you have any query you can ask me in comment section so I'll just finish this round 16 is also coming round 15 is also completed let's make round 16 okay so as I have worked a slip stitch here on the back side so I will just work chain 1 single crochet chain 1 go into the other side of the petal work single crochet chain 1 back post back post single crochet chain 1 back post single crochet chain 1 back post back post single crochet chain 1 back post single crochet so this is how I will just finish all the round and make a slip stitch into this first single crochet so uh, 16 rounds are completed now we will begin our uh, part 2 which is started from row 16 to row 25 so now we will do this thing and this is how it will look okay so let's start from 17 now to start round 17 we will start by chain 2 and this would not count it as the first uh, first stitch I will make yarn over twice go into the stitch pull up a loop pull it through 2 leaving 3 loops on the hook yarn over again go into the next chain 1 space pull up a loop pull it through 2 again yarn over go into the next chain 1 space pull up a loop pull it through 2 then pull it through 3 loops together I have 3 loops on the hook pull it through 2 pull it through 2 chain 5 1 2 3 4 and 5 yarn over twice go into the same stitch where is the third leg placed pull up a loop pull it through 2 yarn over go into the next pull up a loop pull it through 2 yarn over go into the next pull up a loop pull it through 2 then pull it through 3 loops together we have 3 loops on the hook so pull it through 2 loops pull it through 2 loops so this is how it will look we will just finish it and make a slip stitch on the top ok so round 17 is finished we have that kind of loops and clusters on it so now we will start working on the next round which is round 18 chain 1 just to create a little height go into this chain 5 space work 9 double crochets 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 work 9 double crochets go into the next chain 5 space work a single crochet Go into the next chain 5 space, work another 9 double crochets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Go into the next chain 5 space, single crochet. So this is how. I'm going to just finish round 18 and make a slip stitch on the top of this first double crochet. Okay, so this round is also done. Now we will start working on round 10. For this, I will just skip this one stitch, go into this next stitch and work a slip stitch into this back post of the double crochet. Then I will make chain 1 just to create height, work a back post double crochet into the same stitch again make chain 1 go into the next stitch work a back post double crochet chain 1 go
go into the next back post double crochet chain 1 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 now back post double crochet pull it through two leave these loops on the hook yarn over go into the next skip this single crochet go into the first stitch and work on decreasing back post double crochet chain one 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 yarn over back post double crochet unfinished yarn over go into the first stitch keeping this single crochet pull it through all the loops together chain one and so on this is how we are going to work all the way around and we can after working this this uh, decrease the slip stitch into this first double crochet okay so round 19 is also finished and this is how it's going to look now we will make crabbing chain one go back into this stitch work of crabbing go back and work a crabbing stitch so i will just finish this round and then i will show you how to make the next one okay so this is how round 20 will finish okay so 20 rounds are completed uh, we are just eight, 19 uh, rounds are just left so i will going to begin round 21 okay so begin round 21 by making chain one just to begin the round go into the first double crochet work a back post single crochet make chain one back post single crochet into the next chain one back post single crochet into the next stitch chain one back post single crochet into the next chain one back post single crochet into the next stitch chain one back post single crochet chain one back post single crochet okay so we leave this make chain two now go ahead into the first leave this cluster go ahead into the first back post double crochet from the previous row work a single crochet chain one into the next make chain one so this is how we will just finish this round and make a slip stitch into this first uh, single crochet back post single crochet Okay, so round 21 is also completed. Now begin round 22. To begin round 22, we will just make a slip stitch into this next chain 1 space. Make a slip stitch into the next chain 1 space. Make chain 1, go into this chain 1 space, work a single crochet. Go into the next one and work a single crochet. Go into the next chain 1 space and work a single crochet. Make chain 5, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Yarn over twice, go into this chain 2 space. Pull it through two, pull it through two. Just leave two loops on the hook. Pull it through two times. Uh, sorry, yarn over twice again and go into this. Make chain one, go into this post, collect seven loops on the hook. Exactly the same way we worked in round 15. So we are just going to do the same thing three, four, five. 6 and 7th here in this chain 2 space so we have 7 loops on the hook pull it through 2 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 go in here the other side of this cluster again collect loops we have 2 3 
फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवेंथ इन दिस चेन टू स्पेस नाउ पुल इट थ्रू टू 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 नाउ आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू दिस फर्स्ट वन मेक अ स्लिप स्टिच वन टू थ्री फोर एंड फाइव चेन फाइव स्किप दिस फर्स्ट चेन वन स्पेस गो वन टू दिस सेकेंड वन मेक अ सिंगल क्रोशे सिंगल क्रोश इन द नेक्स्ट सिंगल क्रोश इन द नेक्स्ट चेन फाइव वन टू थ्री फोर एंड फाइव इन दिस चेन टू स्पेस वर्क द सेम वे यू विल डू द सेम पैटर्न अगेन दिस इज हाउ we will make the petals and this is how we will make uh, three single crochets we will do all this row and uh, make a slip stitch into this first single crochet so i'll just finish it the so round is completed this is how my petals are looking okay so now we need to just begin the next round and this is my round 23 okay so what i need to do I'll make chain one. Go into the stitch and work three single crochets in, one in each. Three single crochet in this chain five space. I need to work five single crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Jump into the other side of the pattern where I work chain five. I need to work five single crochets. One, two. Three, four, five. One single crochet on the top of this first single crochet. One into the next. One into the next. Jump into the next chain five space. Five single crochets. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Four, five. In these three, again work one, two, and three. So this is how I will work all the way around and make a slip stitch into this first single crochet. So this is how it will look. So let's uh, just finish this round. Okay, so round twenty three is also completed. Now let's begin round twenty four. So we'll begin round thirty four, twenty four from this phase where we have worked this three single crochet in the top, three single crochet. So I need to just make chain two, yarn over, go into the first single crochet, and work a cluster. We will work in three single crochets. One. Okay, so now make chain one to just close it. Just chain three. Skip these stitches except these last two. In the second last of this five single crochet group, work a single crochet, single crochet into the next first single crochet of the next five single crochet group, and work one single crochet in first stitch, one single crochet in the second. Again, work chain three. Yarn over, go into the first stitch. Work unfinished double crochet, yarn over, unfinished double crochet, yarn over, unfinished double crochet. Pull it through all the loops together. Chain one to close it. Chain three. Then work single crochet in the second last, single crochet in the last, single crochet in the first stitch, single crochet in the second stitch. Work chain three, yarn over. One, two, and three times unfinished double crochets. Chain one to close it. Chain three. Work single crochets in the next one, two, three, four stitches. One, two, three. Double crochet cluster. 
chain one to just close it so this is how i need to just finish the whole round i'll finish this round and then i will just go for the next one okay so 24 rounds are completed and this is how my work is going to look now okay so let's begin round 25 it's super easy make chain one go into this top of the cluster work a single crochet in this chain three space work three single crochets one two and three on the top of these four single crochets work one in each one two one two three and four four single crochets in this chain three work one two and three single crochets on the top of this cluster work one single crochet in the next chain three space work one two and three single crochet so this is how i will just finish the round and make a slip stitch on the top of this first single crochet okay so five uh, 25 rounds are completed let's begin to round 26 for round 26 just take two chains go into this cluster work a front post double crochet then go back here and in these single crochets work back post single crochets one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and work front post double crochet so this is how we will just finish round 26 and then we will go further for round 27 okay so my round 26 is completed let's begin round 27 and to begin round 27 i will just make chain 2 it's not counted as some stitch go into this front post double crochet work a front post double crochet chain 4 into the same front post stitch work another front post double crochet that means the front post v stitch make chain 3 skip 3 stitches into this fourth one work a single crochet chain 4 1 2 3 and 4 skip 2 into this third one work a single crochet chain 3 go into this front post double crochet work a front post double crochet and chain 4 1 2 3 4 go into the same stitch work a front post double crochet make chain 3 skip 3 into this fourth one work a double crochet 1 2 3 and 4 chain 4 skip 2 single crochet chain 3 and we are going to do the same thing with this front post double crochet front post double crochet chain 4 front post double crochet so this is how we will just do everything like v stitches and then three that kind of picos so this is how just finish the round okay so round 27 is also finished now let's begin round 28 round 27 makes that kind of just base for round 28 chain 2 is not counted as any stitch so I will just yarn over because now we are making the front post popcorn. Uh, yarn over, go into the front post, put it through two. Again, yarn over. So I will just make a popcorn of four 
unfinished double crochet that means i need to have five loops on the hook so just yarn over and go into this all loops together okay so now yarn over go into this chain four space and work four double crochets one two three and four four double crochets yarn over go into the second front post of the previous row and again work a popcorn stitch so we need to work four unfinished double crochets so this is how we will make a front post popcorn stitch so just okay so this is how it will look now what i'm going to do is i will go into this first chain three and work three double crochets one two and three three double crochets go into the central one work a single crochet go into this next chain three space work one two three double crochet so this is how this is something we need to repeat again and again how that i will just turn over into this first front post i'm going to make a popcorn stitch so i need to collect five loops on my hook five loops on the hook yarn over put it through all the loops together chain one just to secure it four double crochets into this chain four space one two three and four again a popcorn stitch three and four unfinished double crochets pull it through all the loops together chain one to just secure it go into first chain three space work one two and three double crochets single crochet in between then work three double crochets again and this is how i will work till the end of my round and uh, by the end of round 28 we are going to start our round 29 so this is how we will just finish this round and make a slip stitch on the top of this first popcorn stitch Okay, so I have finished round 28 and this is how uh, it's looking now we will start working on round 29 to make round 29 I will just make chain 1 go into the first double crochet here and work front post double crochet yarn over go into the same stitch and work a front post double crochet and then next stitch again work two front post double crochet and third stitch again work two front post double crochets and fourth stitch work two front post double crochets that means here we have four double crochets like in between these two popcorns i have four double crochets so in these four double crochets now i have worked two popcorn uh, two uh, double crochet front post double crochets in each stitch that means in between these two popcorns now i have eight front post double crochets okay now make chain one Now I have three double crochets here. In this first one, I will work a back post double crochet. In this second one, I will work a back post double crochet. Then yarn over, go into this last stitch, leave this loop, skip single crochet, go into the next one, and work a decreasing double crochet. In the next two stitches, I will work back post double crochet back post double crochet back post double crochet then make chain one so this will repeat every time okay now 
do the same thing work two front post double crochet into every stitch one two one and two one and two one and two chain one back post double crochet back post double crochet leave this single crochet and work decreasing back post double crochet back post double crochet back post double crochet chain one and again do the same thing so this will be continued every time until i got here and make a slip stitch on the top of this first front post double crochet and this is how our round 29 will be completed my round 29 is completed and this is how it is yeah it's looking now okay so let's begin round 30 round 30 is again a little similar to round 29 i will work a front post double crochet in each of the next eight stitches one two three four five six seven and eight then we chain two back post double crochet skip this central back post cluster just move into the next back post and work a back post decrease skip this one from these two we need to make a decrease okay one back post double crochet chain two into the next Eight double crochets front post double crochets i will work one front post double crochet into every stitch one two three four five six seven and eight chain two back post double crochet back post double crochet decrease back post double crochet chain 2 will again do the same thing so i'll just finish this round again and then we will just uh, meet for the next round Okay, so my 30 rounds are finished. Now I will begin my uh, round 31. And how to make round 31? We will start decreasing this. In the first two front post stitches, I will work a decreasing front post double crochet. In the next four, work one front post double crochet each stitch. One, two, three, and four. Then yarn over, go into this stitch, yarn over, go into the next, and this is how we will make decreasing stitches 1, 2, and 3. Then make back post decreases by skipping this decreasing stitch here. This is how we will make it. Okay, make chain 3. The same way we will just decrease it from this way. And then next four work one front post double crochet each stitch two three and four then make a decreasing front post double crochet then make chain three decreasing back post double crochet this is how it will look at the end of row around 31 so i will just finish this round and then we will work on round 32
Okay, so round 31 is also completed. Now we will begin round 32. To begin round 32, we will decrease one more stitch from both sides. Insert the hook into this first decreased stitch. Yarn over. Go into the next one. Pull it through all the loops together. One front post double crochet in the next. One front post in the next. And then work one decrease. This is how we have decreased some more stitches. Okay, so now make chain 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Work chain 6. Go in here and work single crochet. Then work single crochet here in this loop. So here in this decreased back post double crochet work one single crochet here chain six three four one two three four five and six then decreasing front post double crochet here decreasing front post double crochet in the next stitch again decreasing front post double crochet chain 6 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 here work a single crochet work a front post single crochet work one single crochet 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 chain 6 and repeat the same thing that I've did here so I will just finish this round and make a slip stitch here okay so round 32 is uh, completed we will begin round 33 so now we will decrease some more stitches chain 2 and it's not counted as a double crochet go into the front post work a front post decrease in the next two again work a decrease chain seven one two three four five six and seven go into this arch work one and two single crochet single crochet here single crochet in the next single crochet in the next single crochet single crochet chain 7 3 4 5 6 and 7 yarn over go into the next front post go into the next front post unfinished put it through all the loops together that means front post decrease front post decrease in the next stitch also chain 7 1 2 3 4 5 Six, seven. Work two single crochets. One, two, three single crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, three, three, four, five, six, and seven, and so on. So this is how we will work all the way around. Decrease, chain 7, 5 single crochets, chain 7 and then again decrease. So this is how I will work till the end of my work and make a slip stitch on the top of this first decrease. Okay, so round 33 is also completed. Now I will begin round 34. Okay, so make chain 2, yarn over, go into this first decrease, pull up a loop, pull it through 2, yarn over, go into the next Pull up a loop, pull it through two. I have three loops on the hook, pull it through all the loops together. Chain seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Single crochet into this chain seven loop. Chain nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Skip all these single crochets. Work a single crochet here. Chain 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
section go into this decreasing stitches work another decreasing front post double crochet so from this corner to corner we need to repeat it so this is how our round will be completed and make a slip stitch on the top of this first uh, decreasing front post double crochet okay so my round uh, 34 is completed now i'll begin round 35 and uh, for begin round 35 now we will uh, skip this part this is not needed now make a slip stitch into this chain loop okay so now make this is a single crochet so now go into this chain 9 space and work 12 double crochets one One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. 12 double crochets, single crochet in this first loop 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and six and 7 single crochet into this next arch now go into this chain 9 space and work 12 double crochets 12, 11 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, single crochet. Chain 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Single crochet here. So, this part is now skip and unwork. So, this is how I will just work all the way around and make a slip stitch on the top of this. We will make single crochet here. Then make chain 7 and slip stitch into this single crochet. Here in this first single crochet the beginning one so I will just finish this round and then we will begin the next one okay so row 35 is completed we will make chain 2 just to begin the round into this first stitch work a back post double crochet chain 1 back post double crochet in each in each of the next stitches back post double crochet chain one 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 back post double crochet chain 1 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 back post double crochet so do not make chain 1 go into this chain space work 1 2 and 3 single crochets yarn over go into the next and work one back post double crochet and chain 1 so this is how we will just finish the round and we have some few till the end so this is how it's been looking so i will just finish this round and then i will show you what to do 
so it's around uh, 35 has completed this is around 36 we will make chain 2 just to create the height yarn over twice go into this first stitch pull up a loop pull it through 2 yarn over go into this chain 1 space pull up a loop pull it through 2 yarn over go into the next chain 1 space pull up a loop pull it through 2 pull it through 3 loops together then pull it through 2 pull it through 2 chain 4 1 2 3 4 do the same thing yarn over twice go into the same stitch pull up a loop pull it through 2 yarn over go into the next chain 1 space pull up a loop pull it through 2 yarn over go into the next pull up a loop pull it through 2 pull it through all the 3 pull it through 2 pull it through 2 chain 4 1 2 3 4 yarn over twice go into the same space pull it through 2 go into the next space pull it through 2 go into the next space pull it through 2 Pull it through all three, pull it through two, pull it through two, chain four, one, two, three, four, yarn over twice, go into the same space, chain two, go into the next, chain two, go into the next chain, pull it through two, pull it through all the three, then from two and two. Okay, again one, two. 3 and 4, yarn over twice, go into the same, yarn over, go into the next, yarn over, go into the next, pull it through all the 3 loops, pull it through 2 and 2, 1, 2, 3 and 4, yarn over twice, go into the same, go into the next, go into the next do the same thing which you are doing every time now as you can see that this part is finished and we have three double crochets uh, three single crochets here so we will not make this chain space here we will just directly go in doing the same thing here no twice Again, yarn over, go into the next, pull it through three, go into there. So, without making any chain, again, yarn over twice, go into the next, and do the same thing. These three needs to be without making any chains. Now make chain 4, 1, 2, 3 and 4 and do the same thing I did before. So this is how our round would be completed. Then we will make round 37. So this is how we will work. Okay, so as you can see my 37 rounds are completed. Now we need to begin round 38. So let's begin. Okay, so let's begin the last, second last round. Okay, so just go into this my four of extension cluster. You need to work you need to work a double crochet. Chain one again a double crochet, double crochet, chain two, double crochet, then make chain two. Then into the same stitch, we will again work a double crochet, then make chain one, go into the same space, work a double crochet. So here we have four. If you 
it here. Now go into this space and mark one, two, three, three single crochets in the next loop. Work one, two, three single crochet in the next work one, two, three in the next work one, two, three in the next work one. Two and three, then yarn over, go into the top of the center stitch, double crochet, chain two, double crochet, chain two, double crochet, chain two, and double crochet. So this is how. I will just twist the round and make a slip stitch into this stitch. So all the rounds are completed. Now I will make uh, edging that kind of. And how to make it? Yarn over, go into this front post and work a front post popcorn. Just work like two five uh, loops on the hook. We will make this front post popcorn. Okay. So now just go into this first single crochet, then make chain 2, go into the next stitch, make a slip stitch, chain 2, make a slip stitch, chain 2, make a slip stitch, chain 2, the legging needs to be that guy. Okay, chain two, slip stitch, 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 chain two, slip. Chain two, slip, chain two, slip, chain two, slip, chain two, slip stitch. Okay, so now we're going to the front post. One, two, three. Four. Okay, so this is how go into this chain two space, work a single crochet. So this is how we need to make it. So this is my last round edging. So this is how I will just make it, and this is how my round will be completed and it really ends. So I hope you can easily understand. I will just finish it all and then I will show you the end product. It looks i hope you have liked it please don't forget to subscribe like and share for any query you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching thank you so much